the Imam recited a very beautiful verse which epitomizes the essence of the Muslim. The verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses every believer, verse 177, addresses every believer to know that it is not righteousness for you to face the east or the west. لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ عَنْ تُوَلُّوا وَجُوهَكُمْ قِبَلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ It is not righteousness that you face the east or the west in prayer. وَلَكِنْ But what is righteousness? وَلَكِنَّ الْبِرَّ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْكِتَابِ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ Allah mentions the articles of faith with the exception of one. All six articles of faith with the exception of one are all captured here. But then what did Allah follow after mentioning the six articles of faith? It is what epitomizes the life of the Muslim. Empathy. As Muslims, Allah has taught us or Allah wants us to be empathic to one another. To be generous, especially to those who do not have or are not blessed with what we have been blessed with. Especially those who are blessed with wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after mentioning the articles of faith, Allah then talks about those who spend their wealth. They spend their wealth. Even if they love the wealth, they spend it for those who are in need, for those who are poor, for those who are captives, they spend of their wealth. We're in the month of Ramadan, where there is no time that we should be more empathic and more generous than Ramadan. That is the essence of the believer, that we are empathic to one another. It doesn't go beyond that. And empathy here, you can say is also compassion. You can say it is generosity. This is what the Muslim must be. And this is what we must teach our children to also be as well. Once we have children that are empathic, then you will see that the ummah will begin to transform and ultimately the nation in general as well. A week ago, precisely today, we had the incident or we all heard the incident of the attack on the train. And for some of you, you lost maybe loved ones, maybe friends, maybe you knew of someone who was affected by that calamity. But this is not the only calamity that has happened in our existence or in this recent time. We've had numerous other calamities that had come before that. But the one of last week was so dearly. I'm sure a lot of us, when we heard it, it was mind-boggling for so many. Why? Because it is a route that a lot of us travel. Empathy for those who are afflicted by that particular calamity would have been, maybe one thing I would have said is to be empathic. The government says because of so and so that has happened, we will shut down so and so activity. I don't need to mention what it was. Empathy here would have been someone being able to draw the minds of the leadership to say, look, let us do this just to show, even if we cannot bring the lives back, but at least we show empathy that lives were lost and all lives are important, but at least to those who suffered this calamity as a nation, we all recognize it. If there is no empathy in the ummah, then we are no longer an ummah. But when we bring back our empathy, then Allah will gradually, slowly, surely bring back the izzah that this ummah once had. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala re return the empathy into our hearts for one another. Alhamdulillah, just before I leave, Allah has made it possible for me to answer the call. And so I will be amongst those who are opportuned in this Ramadan to visit his blessed house. And inshallah, I leave by tomorrow or next. So I will come back, bi and there are a lot of wonderful brothers who will still do the five minutes talk. 
But I want to mention here that inshallah, you all are in my du'as and I plead that you all keep me in your du'as as well. And more than that, let us pray for our nation that may Allah bring peace to the lands. May Allah bring peace to Nigeria and whoever will be the leader 2023, may Allah grant us the best. None should come out and campaign for anyone. Our campaign will be when we see someone who is doing good. I will not tell anyone to, to stop or to desist from voting, even though in truth, nobody can take me off a pulpit. May Allah bless Malam Nur Khalid.